Hey everybody, I'm Beebs Kelly. Welcome back to another fashion edition. I am so happy to have you here with me today. In this video, we are featuring the beautiful and wonderful Melissa McCarthy. Most of her outfits and public appearances in recent years have actually been really great. So I actually had to backtrack a little bit to find some misses. She has such great taste and prioritizes a good fit in her clothing, which is like the biggest rule for us all to follow is a good fit, which does play into your body type. Certain clothes are made to fit certain body types and she has a great eye for it. In the looks we're featuring today, there are some excellent style rules for us all to follow, but there are also a few misses where we can learn from some mistakes. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you here with me. We put out fashion editions at least once a week every Friday, and often I put out several bonus videos throughout the week. But before we get started, let's take a quick look at her style profile. I have begun to incorporate these cards in my videos so that you can identify similar style concerns. If you have a similar body type to her, or or similar proportions or things of that nature, then it's easier to see, I think, when we point it out at the start of a video. So let's jump into that really quickly. Melissa McCarthy has this beautiful hourglass shape. She does have a round torso and sometimes her shoulders are a little bit rounded looking, so she's really a curvy hourglass shape in terms of her body type. She has a great balance between her legs and her torso in terms of proportion. She's very busty and she's quite short. She's about 5'2". So her main style concerns will be to elongate her frame, especially her legs, to minimize the roundness of her torso and shoulders while enhancing the natural waist that she has. Busty but short ladies often end up with garments that look too long or too big in other places, so tailoring will be key. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of her outfits. Okay, so in this first outfit, I actually really like this. The print may not be for everyone, but just look past that. Take a look at her figure and how flattering this outfit is. The cut of it is very, very good. Let me tell you why. It's snug, but not tight. You don't see any like bulging or anything like that that makes it look uncomfortable. So it's got a very good fit. The top is almost a peplum, but not quite. It has a slight flare out from the waist, which helps to enhance her waist even further. And it also creates this smooth visual effect because this top looks to be relatively structured. So it's not clinging to her or showing any like lumps or bumps if she were to have them, but it's just a nice smooth enhancing cut. The tie that she's wearing here, at first glance, you might think, why is that there? Well, it's to draw the eye downward, which helps to elongate her frame. Also, this nice pattern that's not too big, not too busy, is against a black background, a black garment, which is really slimming. So it's a great approach. This style of top is really excellent for anybody with a tummy because it kind of camouflages it a little bit. It enhances the silhouette really nicely. An, a good peplum is a great place to start if you're not very comfortable with form-fitting clothes. A top like this, you want to be paired up with form-fitting pants or, or slim cut pants. You don't want volume on the bottom as well as the top. Also notice she doesn't have any like big bracelets or or watches or anything like that on because that would chop her wrists and stop the visual line and make her arms or her wrists look shorter, maybe even like stubby. So it was a really good choice to not add any jewelry around that area. I will say throughout all of these, none of them she has an updo, but I feel like she would look amazing with an updo. I just wanna say like a good bun that's like high on the crown, I feel like would look so great on her. She has such a beautiful face and great dimples and whatnot. I just think that would look really nice. Okay, next up, the mermaid premiere. I do not like this dress at all. This was super recent, so I'm just not sure what happened because so many of the outfits I saw from the last few years were just great. She looked amazing, but then there was this and I was just kind of, I was confused. I hate it. I don't hate her, I just hate this outfit, okay? It's crazy. Um, there's no shape to it whatsoever. And the pits here, like you can see in her armpit area, it just looks huge. And then there's this like, puffy cuffs which is the wrong type of volume for a curvy lady and it looks like an oversized dress it looks like a muumuu something with no structure at all just like this ginormous piece of fabric a little bit of volume in the skirt would balance her bust or her rounder shoulders but like puffy sleeves is just not the way to go 
I don't even mind the fringe or her shoes or the color or even the gloves. It's literally just the lack of shape and the sleeve poofs that are driving me nuts. It's also high necked. So we really needed something like a snug waist to sort of balance this and show her figure a little bit. Sometimes in plus sizes or with curvy ladies, they're not always comfortable showing their figure, but honestly, you look slimmer when you do. Um, swimming in, in, in tents or clothes with no shape does not do you any favors. A bit of structure contrasts the roundness of a curvier figure, which creates really good balance. Like blazers are a great place to start, which is going to be featured in next week's fashion edition, all kinds. Meghan Markle did a lot of blazers wrong, but she got one right, and then we have some other variety in there too. What do you guys think of the Little Mermaid premiere outfit? I just, I wish she would have done something differently. Even if the cutout on her chest was bigger and more prominent, it would have helped. It's, I know sometimes actors try to go with their, their character or the movie and kind of do sort of like a themed approach, but just here, I don't like it. Oh. Okay, perfect, this is what I mean. This is a skirt that flares, or it's like an A-line skirt, and it brings balance to her silhouette. These types of like empire waistlines that are right underneath the bust are excellent, and you're going to see her use these often. So as we discussed with her style profile, she does have a well-defined waist, which is really excellent. And she's also well proportioned, but she's very short. So a good approach here is elongating her legs with a higher waistline. So it just works perfectly. It's exactly what she should be wearing. I love the pattern of this skirt. I love the color of the top. I love the slinky texture of the top. I'm wearing one like that today. It's just this nice like flowy fabric that gives a great touch to, to outfits. I absolutely love this type of fabric. And notice the cuffs keep the sleeves from looking too big as well, which is something that's very, very commonly happening to us short ladies. It's a great color palette for her, everything. I just love it. Now, this is an older pick and this is one that I did not like at all. She should not have thrown that jacket on top and it's just not a great outfit. Now this one, I mean like I said, this is old. It just would have looked so much better without the cardigan jacket thing that she popped on top. It's an okay color and everything, it's just it doesn't work with this outfit at all. The hem of the jacket, that cropped jacket, I don't know if it's a cardigan or a jacket, is fighting with the waistband or the the belt on that dress. They're just arguing with one another and it creates this strange triangle situation under the bus. It's just weird. It does not work well at all. I think maybe it's a strapless dress and she wasn't comfortable showing her arms, which is a bummer, but a black cropped blazer would have looked a lot better. This just draws attention to the shoulders, which are quite rounded here, and the line is just clashing, so it's not working. But the one thing that I would say she did right here is put her belt tie off to the side. That's a wonderful way to not make things look wider than they are by placing the belt off to one side or the other. This one's really interesting. I quite like the drama of it. At first you're noticing the pattern on the skirt, which is going in a diagonal line, which is good. That is slimming and elongating. That's great. But then you kind of, your eye kind of drifts back up to that really interesting top, which is a very high contrast, black and white, or contrasting colors that are kind of powerfully contrasting, are a really great way to tell the eye where to go, to what to look at, because it catches your eye's attention. So like a dark belt on a light colored dress or vice versa will really draw the eye in and accentuate whatever area you're looking at. And so here you can see it's sending the eyes down and up, kind of skipping over the waist. So it's de-emphasizing the waistline, which is a really interesting approach and a great technique if you are not super comfortable with your waistline. But here, like, she has a great waistline. So, you know, this is just a choice in garment that's really interesting. I like all the different textures in it. I like how some of it's muted, you know, the pattern on the black areas of the skirt. It's great. And I also like the sleeves and the cuffs. Again, I think it would be great if she had an updo. It would have really showcased the collar. One thing with shorter necks or, or rounder bodies or things of that nature is high collars can be tricky, but she pulled it off here. I think part of the reason why it worked here is the buttons that come down in that high contrast. It really just takes charge of your eye and tells you exactly what you should be looking at, which is wonderful. Now we have a somewhat similar look here, it being mostly black, but this one also is a little bit older, but it just didn't work as good, this one. Her hair, the necklaces, and the 
shirt lines where the shirt is cut are catching the eye. And so it's a lot going on at first glance. The shirt has like all this fabric coming down. It's like a tunic style shirt and it's shortening her legs. It's just kind of chopping them there, making them look stubbier. And then the pants are like genie pants or joggers or something and they're adding volume there. And so in this case, this just needed to be edited and the shirt probably isn't a great option because the necklaces are drawing your eye right down to where her stomach starts. And then the rest is kind of voluminous and muted. You know, you end up kind of looking at the very center of her tummy, which would be the opposite from a style perspective that you would wish to create with your style or your outfit. Fitted pants would have helped some and shorter necklaces would have helped some so that the eye wasn't drawn so low. But even still, um, that long top just isn't really working. It's kind of frumpy, unfortunately. And that's something important to remember, like really long tops can feel like a comfortable option if you are trying to hide a tummy, but oftentimes they end up just really tricky and can create a rounder shape than you intend. Now this silhouette here looks really nice on her. Look at the outline of her body here. It's enhancing that hourglass figure and it's really great. The mermaid style hem down at the bottom here is cut in a great part, allowing her ankles to look more slender without cutting her visual height. The v-neck sort of situation up here is nice, which along gates her neck some and that flare down there just really balances her figure so nicely like you just see the hourglass shape which is great the cuffs again are really interesting and notice when she has her hands down the cuffs land right at her hips area where it's pretty wide which is great because it allows you to then see that negative space where her waistline is I'm not super wild about the horizontal lines um, detailing on her waistline because like the top row is kind of coming up towards the center and down towards the sides, which is kind of making her bust look odd, almost like droopy. So I, I don't really care for that. I think that should be placed higher up on her waistline, but of course she's short, so that's really difficult to do. But if that was hitting her immediately under the bust, more like an empire waistline, it would be better than it is here. Now this one is probably the worst look that I have seen her in or the worst look of the day at least. Um, it just gathers really low on her belly here. So you've got horizontal lines from where it gathers, which so just hitting her in a bad place. You've got a lot of extra fabric around the armpits and whatnot, which makes it look like it's a too big of a size. And then the hair is just not serving her. You know, there used to be a theory out there that if you had a chubby face or round face or you were like maybe plus sized, you should have biggest hair as possible to like balance it, I guess. But that is just not the way. That's just kind of an outdated approach. This is an absolutely beautiful dress. I think this was when she got her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I love the waistline. Again, it's just perfect. It really tucks things in nicely. And then it's got these vertical lines and draping that really bring your eyes down. I don't even mind the hemline in this one. It works really well. This is like a casual daytime event, so that's a perfect occasion to wear something like this. The color and the print, it's great. It's such a pretty dress, and it really does does flatter her well. This one is just okay. You know, I don't like this one as much as I wanted to. She has worn quite a few outfits that are like this and really similar. There was even one with trousers and like a cape situation. She's done a lot of these and some of them work really great. Some of them don't. This one has what we were talking about previously, how the waistline kind of comes up towards the center and I just don't like that. I feel like it makes the bust area on anybody look kind of droopy. This one's just kind of a near near miss, not a near catastrophe, just a near miss. Okay, so in this picture, she looks absolutely beautiful. She has such a great smile. I only like some parts of this outfit. I don't like this style of pant. And I feel like in this particular one, it's creating a situation where the waistline's not as well defined as it could be. Also, she has on like a blazer or perhaps a cardigan. And I don't know that that necessarily works for this particular outfit. I wish the top just had some sleeves, maybe some fitted sleeves that came down to here. That would look so much nicer. Moving on. This outfit, I love. I absolutely love this outfit. It is 
maybe my favorite, but the next one might be my absolute favorite. I think it's a skirt and a top, and it's just so gorgeous. This is a pleated skirt done right. She or her stylist managed to find one that would sit nicely at her high waistline and lay flat across her stomach area. It's not always easy to find, but have faith, ladies. This is proof it's possible. This is an example of a good one. I love the pearlescent look of the skirt and then the top is nice and matte so it goes really great together. The cuffs are allowing her sleeves to not eat her hands and overall I just think that this is a wonderful look. So we also have this yellow dress here that is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You guys know yellow is my favorite color, the floral pattern and everything like that. The only part about this that sometimes catches the eye and looks a bit odd is that nude lining you can see underneath here and there. but. There's no way to avoid that in a dress like that, so you have to give that a pass. It is a really cool dress. It fits her great. The flare of it, the, the snug waistline, all of it. It's a home run. So in her lookbook, she has so many countless times where she has just dressed impeccably well for her body and through fluctuations of weight like many people struggle with. It's completely normal, and she is a good example of just coming to where she's at and dressing for the body that she has right in that moment, which I really, really love. And she flatters her figure in a way that shows us a great example. So besides knowing your body type and finding your proportions, which I do have a video coming up on how to find your own proportions. So apart from that and knowing what types of styles are going to work best for your body type, it's also essential to make sure that everything fits really well, which apparently she is a stickler about. She really likes things to be hemmed up or or fitted in a way that's just right for her which is perfect please leave in the comments who you would like me to schedule for upcoming videos if there's any other celebrities or public figures that you like or dislike the way that they dress I would love to make a video about people you are interested in so just let me know in the comments below and do not forget to like if you did thank you again for watching and I will see you next time have a happy day bye